Hello, good evening to all of you. I am Professor and Dr. Parampalli Suresh Upadhyaya speaking. Now, the same D10 Dasham chart analysis and telling in what job or business these people are. Let us take, let us continue with one more example of April 1964 horoscope, which is uh, Capricorn Ascendant. Okay, and second house is Saturn, third house is Mars, fourth house is. Uh, uh, retrograde Mercury, Jupiter and Sun, 5th house is Venus, 6th house is Sad, Rahu and 7th house is Moon. If you look at Dashamsa chart, it is uh, Virgo ascendant with the retrogression Mercury and Rahu. And 12th uh, house Venus, 11th house Moon and 10th house Sun, Mars and Jupiter. Saturn in, in fact, 9th uh, house Ketu is it. Seventh house. Okay, if you look at the Rashi chart, Makara Lagna, from Makara Lagna, 10th uh, Lord is Venus. Okay, Venus in Dashamsha chart is prettily sitting in 12th house. Venus in 12th house is always good. Okay, and Venus is for finance, uh, garments, uh, atom buys, jewelries, all those things. Maybe is uh, more interested in all this uh, uh, particular materialistic wealth. Uh, from D10 chart, if we look at the ascendant, Mercury in retrogression is in ascendant. It means Mercury has exalted, not only exalted, it has got big bell also. So he is uh, uh, given the direction by the Mercury. Okay, Mercury is for speech, Mercury is for uh, intelli intellectual. Okay. And from Mercury, that is ascendant, 10th Lord, 10th house is occupied by Mars, Jupiter and Sun. Mars is for law, Jupiter is also for law. Sun is a government uh, organization. So, when we analyze the uh, uh, things, uh, it is uh, more or less, the person is working as a uh, high court lawyer. Okay? So, Law is best because Saturn is also supportive. Saturn is for law and he is uh, in Dashamsha, it is sit uh, sitting in ninth house. Being a fifth and sixth lord, sitting in ninth house. That means Saturn is always beneficial and hard work. Okay, in the second, in the Rashi chart also, being the Lagna lord, he is sitting in second house. Saturn is really for uh, is a justice. Okay, for the persons who are uh, going in right uh, way, Saturn is always uplifting. You remember that. Uh, okay? And now if we take another example, this is uh, uh, one example. And second example, let us see, April 1984. So if you look at the Rasi chart, you can see Capric, uh, sorry, Makara, uh, Karka ascendant. Okay? Third house is occupied by Ketu. And Saturn, he is uh, in this uh, Scorpio, Venus and Mercury is in 8th house, Jupiter, Sun, Rahu is in 9th house and 11th uh, house, uh, Moon and Mars. Dashamsha chart actually Lagna, ka, ka, Kanya Lagna, Mercury is occupying and Ketu is 2nd house, so 6th house is Mars and Moon, Jupiter is in 7th house, Rahu and Saturn is in 8th house, Venus and Sun is in 9th uh, house. Okay, so 19 84, 87. So here, one thing was uh, wrong. What is that? I will tell you one minute. It is, uh, yeah, it is 1987 horoscope. Sorry, I written 1984. It is actually uh, 1987 horoscope. Okay. Yeah. Now, in Viral Horoscope, 10th Lord from Karka Lagna is Mars. Okay, Mars is occupied in this, uh, the D10 chart is in 6th house along with Moon. Okay, now, Dashamsha Lagna is occupied Mercury, with occupied by Mercury. So Mercury is exalted and showing Digbala, which is already I was telling you. So Mercury is for software, Mercury is for computer, and 10th uh, Lord is also Gemini, 
from D10 lagnamsha and that is also mercury so mercury plays the major role here mars is also technical thing okay so moon and what about sixth lord sixth lord is saturn saturn is uh, uh, debilitated plus uh, retrogression along with rahu so that is uh, showing much uh, more uh, service oriented isn't it and seventh uh, lord is jupiter jupiter is in his own house okay but compared to 6th uh, 7th uh, is peak okay that is why because uh, mercury and jupiter are enemies so that is why he is job oriented and that took a software related and on an inquiry we came to know that she is working in infosys then example 3 let us take 1979 february horoscope he is a uh, man of capricorn ascendant uh, ascendant is occupied by sun jupiter and venus venus plays a major role Tenth Lord is Venus. See, tenth Lord is Venus. Venus is in the ascendant, but uh, there is no big bala. And Dashamsha Dasha chart, this uh, Venus is sitting in uh, eighth house along with Mars. Okay, as Lagna is occupied by Sun, and uh, here Venus is for actually for your information, Venus is for even advertisement, media, pharmaceuticals. all these things so this person is uh, an mba marketing guy and he was working in uh, times of india malayalam manorama and uh, dish tv and uh, d sports etc so ultimately we came to know that he is a marketing guy for all this companies okay so sometimes uh, we feel little difficulty Uh, because we have to analyze uh, more number of horoscopes and get the actually uh, hold of the analysis you without analyzing we are unable to uh, tell the facts okay so i think this is uh, more uh, sufficient and uh, you can go on analyze the things in fact uh, sorry okay we can go on analyze the things for your information we can see some more charts also by directly okay so let us see any other see we can see mahatma gandhi's chart also okay i think i might have shown here mahatma gandhi's chart is actually uh, he is uh, libra ascendant okay the tenth lord is actually moon okay tenth lord is moon and uh, see tenth lord is moon moon is in dashamsha chart in lagna itself what is that moon moon is for common man moon is for motherly nature so he, mother means uh, caring for the people seventh house is for partners so he made public as partners so public okay common man as partner so he is in the politics actually okay moon see so you can see dashamsha here lagna is uh, dhanur lagna moon he is here only and uh, for politics sun is also important sun is in 11th house but it is uh, weak okay in the rashi chart we can see sun is in 12th house okay so saturn is here so moon is along with rahu one type of eccentric uh, decisions so sometimes uh, moon and rahu we used to call them as pagal ma gandhi has got that nature pagalpan okay he did not uh, leave british people fellow sunless until uh, they are quitting india unless until he, they are quitting india okay so um, it's a really uh, if you go on analyzing this you will get uh, more ideas okay with this let me close this because i uh, brought this video in english because some people are demanding sir kindly tell we are telugu people we are tamil people we are uh, this and that so we are unable to understand you are fast kannada speaking so hence uh, i hence uh, i changed my communication to english okay thank you very much even even charts are also uh, so harsh actually to analyze it isn't it thank you very much